most of the time, my top priority when working on Yandere Simulator is adding new ways to eliminate your rivals. However, I don't want to neglect other aspects of the game. So, I spent the past 10 days adding a bunch of changes and improvements that I've wanted to implement for a very long time. For example, when two students have a relationship with one another, such as being family members or lovers, they will have a unique reaction to seeing their loved one being murdered. Let's take these two for example, the Basu sisters. They are very close to one another and are rarely seen apart. Normally, the Basu sisters would run away in fear after witnessing murder, but if one of them watches you kill her sister right in front of her eyes, she will attack you the same way that a heroic student would. Under normal circumstances, the Basu sisters are physically weak, but after seeing a family member die, their strength is boosted to the maximum level. In other words, if someone sees you murder their loved one, they will attack you with far more force than they normally would be capable of. This can result in a nearly instantaneous game over if you're not careful. So, you should pay special attention to the relationships between various characters, and be very careful not to let someone see you kill their loved one. The Basu sisters' routine revolves around spending time with one another, so if you kill one of them, this will change the routine of the surviving sister. From that day forward, she will spend some of her time mourning her sister's death. Okaruto likes to spy on the Basu sisters in the morning, but if the Basu sisters are both dead, Oka changes her schedule and spends the morning in her club room instead. I think it's important for NPCs to change their routines depending on who is dead and who is alive. If you've been following Yandere Simulator's development for a long time, you're probably aware that it's possible to kidnap a girl, torture her, break her mind, and bring her to school as a mind-broken slave who will do your bidding. Specifically, she will kill your current rival for you. I've made a few changes to mind-broken slaves in this version of the game. First of all, they will no longer spawn in front of the school. They will now spawn hiding behind some bushes. The old murder-suicide animation was... Disappointing. I've implemented a new one that represents my vision of murder-suicide much more accurately. Do it. Kill. 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 On a completely different note, a new corpse disposal method has been added to the game. It's now possible to dig a hole in the gardening club, dump a corpse inside of that hole, and bury it. However, I feel like this method is far too easy. I think it needs an extra step. Logically, the cops would be able to find a corpse fairly easily with the help of a well-trained police dog. The dog would sniff out the corpse, Cops would dig wherever the dog was sniffing, and then the dead body you buried would be discovered. However, I have a solution for that. If you find a kitten, and then kill the kitten, you can bury its dead body above the corpse you buried in the garden. When the dog sniffs out a human corpse, and the cops start digging, they will find the dead cat, 
and presume that the dog only smelled a dead animal. They won't bother digging any deeper, and the corpse will remain undiscovered. In other words, to successfully get away with burying a corpse in the garden, you'll have to kill a small creature. What? You didn't forget Yandere-chan's true nature, did you? In addition to everything I named above, there are also a ton of little improvements and minor changes in the latest build. You can visit the official blog if you want to read a complete list. Thank you for following the development of Yandere Simulator.